Okay. So today's meditation is uh, on this uh, Chin Mudra. Okay. Now, Chin Mudra, you have five fingers. Okay. This is a uh, this is uh, comes in Dakshina Murti Stotra. And uh, what is Shin Mudra is this one. And what the, the three, what do the three, uh, what do the three fingers, what do they indicate? And what is this Shin Mudra is what I want to uh, explain in this session of meditation. We have five fingers. The extreme, the first one is the chit, the thumb, which is the original awareness. The original awareness is without any identifications with the bodies. So that is the ultimate what we want to reach. The index finger, extreme on the right hand side, if you see index finger, that is the chidabhasa. Chit and Chirabhasa. Chirabhasa is the ahamkara, ego factor, the self-awaring I. Now, when I'm identified with the ego, I, 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 the pramata, throughout my waking state, if I'm thinking of the pramata, I, the ego, I, it is the, it causes samsara, bondage. Whereas, if I contact the ego eye, connect the ego eye to the sakshi eye, which is the thumb. That is what is called as realization. What are the middle three fingers? The middle three fingers are gross body, subtle body, and causal. So through the chin mudra, which is also called as bhadra mudra, it reveals the Mahavakyam that I am not the ego I, I am the Sakshi I. It is just a symbol. It is just a symbol by which I can take my mind using this symbol of uh, Chin Mudra and to realize the truth of this whole cosmos. Like you have the Om, the word Om. This is in a pictorial format. I connect the ego I to the Sakshi by folding up, connecting the thumb to the index finger. Chirabhasa is normally identified with the three Sharirams. See, Chit Abhasa. See, in the mind, there are three things Chit, Chidabhasa, and the mind. Chirabhasa is a reflection of the chit. So if my if I'm able to focus on the on the chit aspect, then I am free. Normally we are identified with the chidabhasa and the mind, which is what is when you are identified with the chidabhasa and the mind, what is it called? Ahamkar. When you are identified with the chit, it is called as sakshi. The shastra teaches me to identify with the sakshi aspect, the chit aspect. And then it says, you try to say, aham brahma asmi. For example, a reflected face in a mirror can either identify with the original face and move away from the mirror, or it can identify with the mirror. And the mirror has got, mirror is the mind, you know, and it has got thoughts, perceptions, and the word. So take it from the reflected face point of view. Okay, this is slightly subtle point. Imagine that you're looking at a mirror, that, and you are now not identifying with the original mirror, you are now identified with the reflected face. The reflected face is now trying to say that is actually the jiva. Today, that is what we are all thinking. This whole body is a reflection in the mind mirror. 
you have to remove that mind mirror. I am in that mind mirror called as the uh, reflecting medium. I have to realize the self which is beyond the mirror. The three sharirams are prakriti tattva. Index finger is the jivatma, which is the mithya portion. And the thumb is the paramatma, satyam, which is the purusha portion. So whenever you see the chin mudra like this, Dakshinamurti is known to represent with the chin mudra. Dakshinamurti stotram, when you study, you will, you will study what is this chin mudra. This is actually a part of Dakshinamurti stotram and how I can come out of the prakriti, the three fingers which are stretched out, which is if I can drop that prakriti portion and make the index portion touch the thumb, that is what is the aikyam, that is jivatma paramatma merger. I am the jivatma, the index finger, I drop that connection with the three sharirams, but I am now with Paramatma. This is how I learn what is Chin Mudra. Okay, this is just a brief uh, uh, description of what is Chin Mudra. I thought it was useful, hence I presented it. Okay, let's close our eyes. <clears throat> Sit erect. I try to bring the chin mudra, which Dakshina Murti. has in his, as one of his features, Chin Mudra. The three index fingers, the three fingers which are pointing outward represent the three states of consciousness. Gross body consciousness, subtle body consciousness, causal body consciousness. The index finger is the ego. When it joins the thumb represented by Paramatma, the jiva finds its fulfillment of life. So this sign, Lord Dakshinamurti, teaches me how to drop identification with the three sharirams. Symbolic representation of moksha is Chin Mudra.
I am aware about myself. This is called as self-awareness. The self-awareness is with the body. Gross body. The self-awareness is born when I wake up. In sleep, I don't have self-awareness. I learn to differentiate the pure awareness which lies beyond the sleep state with self-awareness. I am is aham. I thought in the mind. This is a function of the mind instrument, antakkarana. When I don't use the mind, it is the sleep state. This aham, I am, is not experienced in that state, but I exist. That existence is Atma. Pure awareness without the mind revealed by the scriptures. The light of Atma reveals the mind. In the waking and dream. The light of Atma is called as the Illuminator, Prakashakam. The mind is Prakashyam, Illumined. The light can exist without the mind. That light is my real nature. It is beyond the five koshas.
that light of Atman is called as Brahman. It is one with the Paramatma. The Panchakoshas come and go. They are changing. I, the Atma, am changeless. I am pure. I am the awareness principle, Chaitanya, Jnana, Let the mind repeat again and again. I am the Atma. I am not the five koshas. This way I learn to drop the Jiva Bhava. and abide in Sakshi Bhava. This is a big leap in spirituality. I drop Jiva Bhava and hold on to Sakshi Bhava. Purnamidam Purnahar Purnamudachade Purnasya Purnamathaye Purnameva Vasishade Om Shanti 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 
Please rub your palms. Gently open your eyes.